Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit smaller than normal grocery haul. I mostly had to pick up my produce because you guys saw I did a really large haul last week. So um, I just had to pick up my weekly filler stuff. So let's get started. I have usual no sugar applesauce. Um, I picked up some lunch meat. Um, this will be for the whole family, of course. Um, we're having chef salads one day. Well, I'm not, but they are having chef salads one day, and then my son eats this for his lunches every day. So I have the slow roasted roast beef. This is one point for two ounces. If I forget to say the points for anything, let me know down below, and I will let you know how much they are. Um, I'm going to try it, though. I think I know everything. Then I got some of the honey smoked turkey breast, and some of the mesquite smoked turkey breast. I actually thought this was ham, so I'm gonna have to go back and pick up some ham. Um, I have some of the, so I have four salad kits. Like I said, we're gonna have quite a bit of salads this week, also for lunches. And so I got these to fill in with the romaine lettuce that I picked up. So um, I will tell you that I don't use the dressings that come in these. Sometimes I will use the other, I'll use like the other fixings that are in here. Um, but I just weigh them out, and then I usually just have one point worth of the toppings. So like the sesame Asian, it comes with sliced almonds, garlic, wontons, cabbage, romaine, kale, carrots, green onions, and dull toasted sesame and ginger vinaigrette. So I don't use the dressing. The family does, so it doesn't go to waste. But um, like the almonds, you can have um, one tablespoon for one point, and the wontons the same way. I just weigh them out. If you do have everything on the Sesame Asian salad, even including the dressing, it is five points. I got also one of the Greek ones. This comes with just cabbage, tomatoes, romaine lettuce, broccoli, green onions, green onion, green olives, sorry, parsley, celery, and flatbread chips, and then a Greek vinaigrette. If you have everything, including the dressing, this one is seven points, or six points, sorry. Then I got another Asian one. The Asian ones are my favorite because I like the wontons and I like the almonds that come with them. This one, yeah, it comes with everything. It's the same one. So that's also five points. And this one is the one that's seven points. This is a garden vegetable chopped salad. I think it's seven points because it comes with a slaw dressing, which I have tried, and I do not like it at all. But I like this one has broccoli, cauliflower, and they're like shredded, and then also, also chunks of it. Red cabbage, dried cranberries, sunflower kernels, carrots, and crumbled bacon. So those are my favorite ones of those. Um, some shake and bake. This is one point for a quarter of a packet and believe me you do not need more than that. What I usually do is I will use some egg beaters and I usually use zero points worth of egg beaters and I dredge the chicken in that. Then I coat it with this shake and bake. And so you definitely do not need more than a quarter of a package for one chicken breast. So these are really yummy. Um, my son picked out this one, the ranch and herbs, so it sounds good. And I am also, I had one of my subscribers, I think it was Kay, who told me um, that she has used these crispy onions that I've been, I showed you guys with last week with my salad. Um, she puts this on her chicken, so I think I'm going to do um, maybe both. I think that would be really good. But anyway, I use these in salads, and um, they're really good in soups also, which I got that from Sheree over at Motiv Motivated Muffins. That's what I first saw this. So great idea and they're really yummy. So I actually got two of them, and these are the lightly salted. I told you guys last week that I had the garlic pepper also, but it's just way too garlicky, and I really like garlic, but it was just, just a little touch too much. I picked up some garlic ginger wonton strips. Now this has the perfect amount of garlic. I really like these, so these will also be for salads. And this is a new find for me, um, the crispy red peppers, lightly salad. Oh, I forgot to tell you the points. Okay. Oh, so these are... Um, the serving size is one tablespoon or seven grams, so this is one point. These are also one point for two tablespoons for seven grams. I don't know how you measure out tablespoons with these. I just weigh them on the scale. And then these are one and a half tablespoons or seven grams for one point. I picked up some Premier Protein. These are two points a piece. This is the caramel. I do allow myself to have these once a week on Fridays. That's kind of my treat because I am trying to steer clear of the rule of the, the all the protein bars and protein drinks because I think the calories are one of the reasons why I was stalling there for a while, although it's been stalling even though I quit drinking these, but whatever. We'll see what happens. 
Um, Slim Fast Chips, I found the barbecue. So I am going to lay off some of the processed stuff this week, but I wanted to pick them up. They had this one box, and I have not seen these at Walmart except for the sour cream and onions. So I'm just going to have those just so I have them in case I'm really craving something and I don't grab something else that's, you know, higher calorie and more points. So this is just kind of a backup thing that I'll eat possibly on the weekends. That's kind of, you know, that kind of thing. And then I have two cans of fire roasted tomatoes because I forgot to buy them last week. I like to keep, you guys know how much I love my fire roasted tomatoes. I like to keep these um, on, in my pantry as a backup for just a quick, easy dinner. I picked up two cans of the chicken breast and water. Two ounces is one point. This whole can is three points. Some eggs, two points a piece. Now, you guys know if you watch my Weight Watchers on a Budget videos, which if, um, if you didn't watch my yesterday's video, um, I did tell you guys I'm going to be doing Weight Watchers on a Budget every two weeks versus every week. Um, I want to try to do some different different videos for you guys and that video just takes a long time to do so I figured also for more variety I'm just gonna do the budgeting stuff every two weeks anyway as you guys know these have been really super high this is spaghetti squash really super high in my area they've been 379 a pound and I love spaghetti squash this is only 69 cents a pound so I it's really tiny but I'm the only one who eats it so um, I should have got more than one and froze some but that's okay it's yeah so maybe it's just starting to come down or it's just a sale but so i picked up one of these for sure i have some baby cut carrots um green onions a couple of zucchini this is for a recipe i'm going to film for you guys this week it's a side dish and it sounds super yummy i have my usual bell peppers i got two yellow and three red the reds are my favorite i use these for lunchtime for snacking celery for snacking i picked up some pizza sauce I am going to be making some personal pizzas um, and meal prep and putting them in the freezer. I'm going to use some of the Joseph pitas. I did order a case of those because um, Molly over at um, Weight Watchers Wifey sent me some to try since I can't get them in my area and they are amazing. So I did order a case of those. I will haul those when they come in. I So far I got an order, I got an email that they have been shipped but there's no status on where they're at. So. Anyway, I do still have a package left that she gave me, so I'm going to make two, I think, and put them in my freezer this week. So I got pizza sauce. Oh, this is zero points for a quarter cup, and I can't imagine needing more than a quarter cup on one of those pitas. I'm going to have teriyaki chicken bowls this week for dinner, so I picked up some teriyaki sauce. This is one point for one tablespoon. Um, I think it was three points for four tablespoons, which is what I'm thinking that I'll probably end up using. I don't know. It's really good. I've used it before, and it's a really low point dinner. So, um, and I'll, if you want, I'll show you how I make it. Anyway, I use rice, cauliflower, and broccoli, and the chicken. So it's super low point. The only points is the teriyaki sauce and the chicken. So um, I don't mind spending a little bit more on the teriyaki sauce. Tomatoes, uh, sweet potato. These, of course, cost points depending on how the size. I will eat split this with my youngest son because he'll eat this as well. So I'll just have half of this with dinner one day this week. Uh, pineapple. <laughs> I was like, what is that called? I got two cantaloupes. I got some hamburger dill, dill chips. This is mainly for my oldest because he likes to have those on his sandwiches. Um, classic hummus with pine nuts. I had no idea. I, this was, I grabbed this one because I wanted to, I thought I might also use it for sandwiches or something. And, and I scanned it. It actually comes up for three points for two tablespoons. It's still only one point for one tablespoon. So I was going to use this also for vegetables this week, but I think, which I typically only use one tablespoon, but I'm planning on eating more vegetables this week. So I am also going, oh, which I forgot to show you guys. I got a ranch packet. I don't think I showed this to you. I'm going to make the skinny kitchen ranch again this week, and then I will use that to dip in my vegetables. So I think I'll just be using this on my sandwiches this week. Um, it's really yummy on sandwiches. And I could just use one tablespoon. Take and shake potatoes. This is the black pepper, rosemary, and thyme. This whole thing is four points, and you get a lot of potatoes in here. This was kind of an impulse buy. I really don't have a plan for it. I have apples. I have two things of rice cauliflower. Like I said, I'm going to be doing those chicken teriyaki bowls this week. So, um, And I already had the broccoli, so I didn't need to buy that. So I just got two things of those. Some romaine lettuce for salads this week. I got some of the little cocktail cucumbers from Costco. 
I went to my, this, by the way, this is my local grocery store, Walmart, and Costco. Um, two things of bananas. I got one that was a little bit less greener than the other. Um, avocados. And those, of course, do cost points as well, just depending on how many grams you have. And do those by grams because I feel like you get more bang for your buck on avocados. And play around with the app because you would be surprised. I think it's like for one point, it's like 27 grams. If you go to 28 grams, it's two points. So seriously, how much of an avocado is a gram? So you could have, and what I usually do is actually I have two points, and you can have like 45, 44 or 45 grams for two points so it's it's such a great deal just play around in the app and um, so you can get you know more like I said more bang for your buck with your avocados these just looked so good these I got these from Costco and they're just different colored um, cherry tomatoes cannot wait to try those first time I've seen these in my store I got some strawberries um, my usual cheese so fat-free cheddar um, this has not been in my stores so that's why I wanted to make sure I got it. Um, quarter cup, zero points. This I'll be using for the pizzas, the fat-free mozzarella, quarter cup, zero points. I feel like, just a little tip, the mozzarella, it it um, melts really, really well. The cheddar, not so much. I try to use the cheddar on salads, and then I use the mozzarella, anything I need to melt. Now, it, I mean, it melts, but it's just not the kind of cheesy like you're expecting. But the mozzarella, I feel like, really does. It really melts really well. I got some buttermilk for the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. I went ahead and just got the Coffee Make Sugar-Free French Vanilla when I figured out that the great value um, is more points. And... Um, Somebody had said they keyed it in. Even when I keyed it in, it still came up where it was one point for a tablespoon. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I do know that this one is, you can have three tablespoons for one point. So, I mean, I like it just as much. And this was on sale this week, so it was no big deal buying it. But I still have one full of the great value to use up first. I have got some egg beaters. You can have three tablespoons. Uh, actually, I think you can have like five tablespoons for zero points. I don't know. I, I can never remember exactly the um, configuration, but you can have a lot of this for one point, which is what I usually do anyway. Half and half, you can have three tablespoons of this for one point. So I think that is everything. I hope that wasn't too loud. I'm sorry. I think I got everything this week, and I think I told you the points for everything this week. So this is my grocery haul. My meal plan this week. Okay, I only have to have meals this week for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because I will be at a meeting Thursday night for work. So um, I do not have to make dinner Thursday night. So let's see, I have the chicken teriyaki bowls. I'm making chicken piccata with the side dish recipe that I will be sharing with you guys. Um, I am gonna do a roast beef for the family. So I'm gonna use some of that roast beef. Um, I'm gonna make them hot roast beef sandwiches with gravy and mashed potatoes, you know, all that yummy stuff. That, I'm just going to take the meat itself and make a big roast beef salad. And then I'm also having grilled chicken salads this week. So that is my meal plan for the week. And then I'll start all over again um, next week. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys.